Dialogic learning at Shimmer College Dialogic learning is learning that takes place through dialogue. It is typically the result of egalitarian dialogue, in other words, the consequence of a dialogue in which different people provide arguments based on validity claims and not on power claims. Within the Western tradition, it is frequently linked to the Socratic dialogues. It is also found in many other traditions, for example, the book The Argumentative Indian, written by Nobel Prize of Economics winner Amartya Sen, 2005, situates dialogic learning within the Indian tradition and observes that an emphasis on discussion and dialogue spread across Asia with the rise of Buddhism. In recent times, the concept of dialogic learning has been linked to contributions from various perspectives and disciplines, such as the theory of dialogic action, Freyer, 1970, the dialogic inquiry approach, Wells, 1999, the theory of communicative action, Habermas, 1984, the notion of dialogic imagination, Bakhtin, 1981, and the dialogical self, Solar, 2004. In addition, the work of an important range of contemporary authors is based on dialogic conceptions. Among those, it is worth mentioning authors like Jack Maziro, 1990-1991-2000, and his transformative learning theory, Michael Fielding, 2001, who sees students as radical agents of change, Timothy Koshman, 1999, who highlights the potential advantages of adopting dialogicality as the basis of education, and N.C. Hargrave, 2000, who demonstrates that children in dialogic learning conditions make significantly larger gains in vocabulary, than do children in a less dialogic reading environment. Specifically, the concept of dialogic learning, Fletcher, 2000, evolved from the investigation and observation of how people learn both outside and inside of schools, when acting and learning freely is allowed. At this point, it is important to mention the Learning Communities, an educational project which seeks social and cultural transformation of educational centers and their surroundings through dialogic learning, emphasizing egalitarian dialogue among all community members, including teaching staff, students, families, entities, and volunteers. In the learning communities, it is fundamental the involvement of all members of the community because, as research shows, learning processes, regardless of the learners' ages, and including the teaching staff, depend more on the coordination among all the interactions and activities that take place in different spaces of the learners' lives, like school, home, and workplace, than only on interactions and activities developed in spaces of formal learning, such as classrooms. Along these lines, the Learning Communities Project aims at multiplying learning contexts and interactions with the objective of all students reaching higher levels of development, Vygotsky, 1978.